Hey YouTube, Engineer Boy 100. This video is about an upgrade that is very special to me. But first, I want to tell you where it fits in. Before we install these beautiful aluminum rings for the instrument clusters, I want to show you how they fit in to the grand scheme of the 996 trip. Hi YouTube, Engineer Boy 100. Today's video is on the five most common failures and hated features of the 996 Turbo. Don't get me wrong, I love the 996 Turbo. I've said it before and I'll say it again. In my opinion, it is dollar for dollar the number one best sports car available in the world today. That said, it's not perfect. It does have five most common failures, so I'm going to cover those today and tell you what I've done to resolve each. Stay tuned. Let's get started with number one. By far, the number one most hated feature of the 996 Turbo and the 996 Non-Turbo is the simple fact that they're liquid cooled. Nice cooling VIN, right? But it's not for cooling the engine. The purists hate the fact that we use liquid to cool our engines. Now, in their defense, the engineering that went into the air-cooled, the, the paths that were designed into that engine to get rid of the heat are just absolutely amazing. But it's undeniable that you get more power capacity with a liquid-cooled engine. That said, there are some drawbacks. And one of the main ones is our number two failure of the 996 Turbo, popping out of the coolant fittings. That failure can be very costly and time-consuming and labor-intensive, as I found out the hard way. I did that repair on my car. It's on this channel. Check it out. Number three. The number three on my list most hated feature on the 996 Turbo are the lights. Now ours does not have the hated infamous egg fried egg lights, but they are a part departure from the traditional Porsche headlight shape. Well, not only do we have failures, failure of the headlight, we have failures of the tail lights as well. We'll get to that in a minute. What did I do to resolve the headlight issue? I'll tell you what I did to resolve the headlight issue. Before I even knew there was a headlight issue, when I saw these headlights, I absolutely fell in love with them. What I did to resolve the headlight issue on this car is absolutely nothing. I absolutely love them and they're perfect for me just the way they are. Now the tail lights on the other hand are absolutely beautiful as well. But they have a different failure. You guessed it, the mount brackets. What did I do about that? I invented the lightsaber. That's right, the lightsaber will save your lights and that's what I've done to resolve the issue of the tail light failure on the 996 Turbo. Number four, in close proximity to the tail light is the rear spoiler. The failure of the hydraulics on the rear spoiler is one of the main failures of the 996 Turbo. There are a few options to remedy this. Personally, I went with a fixed solution on eBay for $150. But those of you who do want the boiler to go up and down, 
you can go with the ERAM. The ERAM is an awesome lift kit system from ringkit.com. The following are a few clips of the system operating fast and slow. Check them out, see how you like it. And finally, number five. The number five most hated feature on the 996 Turbo is its boring, dull, and dated interior. That's right. Many people, and I can't help but agree, will say that the interior of the 996 Turbo is very boring. One thing you can do to add to the highlights that are already there, like the door handles, like the handle on the glove box, is some awesome rings for your instrument cluster. You see how dull and boring and black those are? Today we're gonna do a mod by adding some aluminum rings. I'll show you those now. Okay, so these are the, the rings by Dido Tuning or Ditto Tuning. Um, they came in this box. Here are the, actually, the actual rings themselves. So take them out, and I'm going to bring you in real close so you can actually see what they look like and kind of get a feel for the build quality. Let's go ahead and open these up. I actually think we're close enough. Sometimes when you get too close, it's uh, hard to actually see. So it's, here's how they come, the packaging. Um, so let's see here. Here's the ring, so I'll let you guys get a little bit of a look here. See if it helps. Remove this out so you have a nice dark background for the light rings. And this is the main center ring. Okay, we're in the car now, and we're going to install those rings. First off, let's take a look at the interior before. Now here are the instrument dials. Before the rings. Here's the interior. Here's the dash. We have one highlight on the glove box, and one highlight on the door handle and the door glove box. Little silver highlights. And I've added one highlight in the center by gear stick. Shifter, here we go. As you, you see, it's actually a BMW shifter, but it's one more thing that kind of adds a little bit of spice, livens up the uh, all black interior. So now, let's go ahead and install those rings. First, you want to kind of pre-fit the ring to see how tightly they fit. I'll show you that now with the center ring. And if it doesn't quite fit right, you can do a little beveling procedure um, on the edge of the ring. I'll show you that really quick right now. The clip from uh, the uh, manufacturer's instructions. Take a look. Now we're just going to install the main ring, the center ring. And all you do is align it and press it into place. Look at that. Looks great. Now we'll do the two on either side, the medium size ones. Mm 
And just like that, the left is done. Now we'll do the right one. Go on pretty easy, but just a firm pressure. And get yourself some really nice dowel rings. Look at that. Nice and snug. Beautiful. Look at that. Now we'll do the outer rings. Beautiful. And there they are installed. All three rings. Absolutely beautiful. So there you have it, the five issues for the 996 Turbo. Let's recap. Number one, the fact that the vehicle is liquid cooled, it's going to be a personal preference whether or not you like it. If you prefer liquid cooled, there are going to be other maintenance issues such as the water pump, the thermostat, the cooling. So it boils down to what your personal preference is. Number two, the fact that the coolant fittings pop out. Nobody likes that. It's something that we live with. It's something that we choose to repair or have repaired if we choose to have a liquid cooled vehicle. Personally, I prefer liquid cooled, so I live with the maintenance and failure issues that's associated with that system. Number three, the lights. The lights in the front are fine. I love them. There's nothing that can be done to repair that because in my opinion, they're absolutely beautiful. The tail lights are also beautiful, but they do have the lightsaber failure that we repair by putting lightsabers on those. Lightsabers are available at vanfix.com. Number four, the E-RAM repairable daily hydraulic lifts on the rear spoiler. The rear spoiler goes up at 70 miles an hour, and for some, that's a feature that they would prefer and they like. ERAM is a really good solution for that, as is the $150 solution that I went with, with a fixed wing up all the time system. Number five, the boring interior. I actually like the interior. It is plain, I can see and I acknowledge that, but the rings around our engine clusters livens that up and makes the interior just fine for me. So in a nutshell, the 996 Turbo does have some issues, but they can all be addressed, and you'll end up with a really, really nice car once you've addressed those issues. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Today's video is about the five most common failures of the 996 Turbo and issues. I love the 996 Turbo, 
I said it before and I'll say it again. Dollar for dollar, I believe it is the number one best sports car available in the world today. It's not perfect. So let's cover those five. Hi YouTube, Engineer Boy 100. Today's video is on the five failures. Hi YouTube, Engineer Boy 100. Today's video is on the five most common failures and hated features. Good morning. We have a nice little person in our video today. 